I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Nina salimu katika jina la ajabu la Yesu Kristo. And I'm so happy na nina furaha to be invited here back to speak to you. Tu kukaribishwa tena kuja kuongea na nyie. Don't you think that uh, this is a wonderful miraculous event? Je, hufikiri kwamba hili ni tukio la ajabu la miujiza? That we can speak to you, to you through the airwaves. Kwamba tunaweza kuongea na nyinyi kupitia mawimbi haya ya Hebron TV. Only can you hear our voices? Kwamba so kwamba tu mnasikia sauti zetu. But that you could see us wherever you are. Lakini mnatuona popote pale mlipo. And if you're listening to this program right now, na ukisikiliza program hiyo sasa hivi, I want you to know that The next few moments is going to be a wonderful few moments for you. Nataka ujue kwamba dakika chache zijazo zitakuwa ni dakika za ajabu sana. When I last spoke, nilipozungumza mara ya mwisho, we spoke on the power of prayer. Tuliongea juu ya nguvu ya maombi. Conversations with God. Mazungumzo na Mungu. And we want to continue in that in that way. Na nataka kuendelea pale tulipoishia. But first let's pray. Lakini kwanza hebu tuombe. Father I thank you Baba ninakushukuru for every single one that is can hear our voice right now Kila mmoja wetu ambaye anaisikia sauti yetu I bless them Father exactly where they are now Ninawabariki pale walipo I bless their hearts and their minds Ninabariki akili zao na mioyo yao Will be our captive Father to your voice Wataisikiliza sauti yako That the words that you speak through us Na maneno utakayoongea kupitia sisi Will bring life to those that hear us yataleta uzima kwa wale ambao wanatusikiliza. For we ask this in Jesus name. Na tunaomba haya katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Conversations with God. Mazungumzo na Mungu. We know as Christians and even those that are not. Tunafahamu kama wakristo au hata wale ambao si wakristo. That our need to speak to a greater power. Kwamba hitaji letu la kuongea na yule mwenye nguvu zote a supernatural power nguvu za ajabu comes from the very essence of who we are lina hitaji hilo linatokana na jinsi ambavyo Mungu alivyotuumba it's a need that 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 grows in our in, in our minds and in our hearts ni hitaji ambalo liko ndani ya mioyo yetu na kwenye akili zetu to speak to god kuongea na Mungu and as christians na sisi kama wakristo we are encouraged tunatiwa moyo to have a relationship with God. kuwa na uhusiano na Mungu it is that relationship ni uhusiano huo that allows you to have conversations with the supernatural unao turuhusu tuwe na mazungumzo na Mungu every christian knows kila mkristo anajua that he can call on the name of God anaweza kuliita jina la Mungu anytime wakati wowote anywhere mahali popote and in any situation na katika hali yoyote ile god is everywhere mungu yuko kila mahali we have covered most of this in my previous episode tumeyagusia hayo katika somo langu lililopita but i want to take you take you and uh, take you now to a very interesting scripture verse isipokuwa leo nataka ni wapeleke kwenye andiko ambalo linagusa sana found in first thessalonians linalopatikana chapter 5 wa thessaloniki wa kwanza sura ya 5 verse 16 and 17 na mstari wa 16 na 17 nitasoma furahini siku zote ombeni bila kukoma it's that simple rice sana rejoice always furahini siku zote that means be happy manake uwe na furaha and then the next verse na msali mwingine unafuata pray without ceasing ombeni bila kukoma it means don't stop praying manake usiache kuomba na like i said before kama nilivyosema hapo awali prayer for many are not is not that easy maombi kwa watu wengi sio kitu rahisi and the reason for that na sababu ya hayo is because they haven't developed a relationship with God yet. Kwa sababu hawajajenga uhusiano wao na Mungu. One of the ways to develop that relationship moja ya njia kujenga uhusiano wao na Mungu is to study God's word. Ni kuanza kuitafakari neno la Mungu. And one of the ways of studying God's word na moja ya njia kujifunza neno la Mungu is by asking questions. Ni kwa kujiuliza maswali. Questions are very very important for your learning. Maswali ni muhimu sana katika maisha yako. If you got something on your mind, ukiwa na kitu kwenye akili yako, go to your pastor. Nenda kwa mchungaji wako and ask him. Na muulize. 
Ask him that question. Muulize maswali and he will give you an answer. Na atakupatia majibu. He will take you to the word of God. Atakupeleka kwenye neno la Mungu. And he will help you to understand. Na atakusaidia kuelewa. As you understand. Na jinsi unavyoelewa. You will find yourself creating a relationship. Utajikuta unajenga uhusiano na Mungu. With God. Na Mungu. There's another relationship that is important. Lakini kuna uhusiano mwingine ambao ni muhimu. Relationship with your pastor. Uhusiano wako na mchungaji wako. In this case we a relationship with Pastor Menessa. Na hapa tunamaanisha uhusiano wako na mchungaji uh, DM Askofu DM Manase. You can speak to him, you can pick up the phone if something bothers you. Kama kuna kitu kinakusumbua unaweza kuchukua simu yako na kumpigia. And say bishop na ukamwambia askofu can you help me to understand this unaweza kunisaidia kuelewa hiki na kile only through understanding kwa sababu ni kwa kupitia kuelewa you can develop a relationship ndipo unaweza kuweza kujenga uhusiano when you develop the relationship unapojenga uhusiano you will find that talking to god unakuta kwamba kuongea na mungu becomes easier and easier inakuwa rahisi na rahisi i speak to him all the time. Mimi naongea na Mungu muda wote. As I'm speaking to you right now. Kama ninavyoongea na wewe sasa. I'm in my mind I'm telling God please give me words. Na katika akili yangu namwambia Mungu nipe maneno. In my mind I'm saying Holy Spirit lead me. Katika mawazo yangu namwambia Roho Mtakatifu niongoze. It doesn't matter what situation I'm in. Na haijalishi niko kwenye hali gani. Whether I'm sitting in an aeroplane. Ama nimekaa ndani ya ndege. I'm asking the Holy Spirit to take me wherever I'm going safely. Na muomba Roho Mtakatifu anifikishe ninapoenda salama. When I'm driving my car. Ninapokuwa naendesha gari yangu. I ask the Holy Spirit to guide me. Nina muomba Roho Mtakatifu aniongoze. When I'm When when I'm paying for something. Napokuwa nalipa kwa kitu fulani. I ask the Holy Spirit to bless not only me but those that I'm dealing with. Namwambia Roho Mtakatifu anibariki mimi na wale ambao unafanya biashara nao. Because I've learned how to have a relationship. Kwa sababu nimejifunza namna ya kuwa na uhusiano. But another thing that I've learned. Lakini kitu kingine ambacho nimejifunza in verse in verse 18. Katika mstari wa 18 wa Thessaloniki wa kwanza ile sura ya tano. anasema kwamba mshukuru kwa kila jambo maana hayo ni mapenzi ya Mungu kwenu katika Kristo Yesu The Bible says Biblia inasema that in everything katika kila jambo we ought to give thanks unatakiwa mshukuru Mungu Thanks to who Umshukuru nani The Bible is clear on that Biblia iko wazi katika hilo. It's not just thanks to whoever is helping you out. Sio kumshukuru yule ambaye anakusaidia, but give thanks to God. Lakini mshukuru Mungu. And that is what I do. Na hicho ambacho ndio cha ambacho nakifanya. I thank him for taking me from point A to point B. Na mshukuru kwa kunitoa sehemu moja kwenda sehemu nyingine. I thank mingine. him for the for the money that i have in my pocket na mshukuru kwa kiasi cha pesa nilichonacho mfukoni mwangu i thank him for the ability that is given me na mshukuru kwa uwezo ambao amenipa i thank him for everything na mshukuru kwa kila kitu i start by thanking him for waking me up in the morning ninaanza kwa kumshukuru kwa kuniamsha asubuhi for giving me a new day kwa kunipa siku mpya for giving me new hope kwa kunipa matumaini mapya so i've got something to thank god for. Kwa hiyo na kitu cha kumshukuru Mungu. And you too have na something to thank God for. Na pia lazima uwe na kitu cha kumshukuru Mungu. So when you keep thanking him. Unapoendelea kumshukuru Mungu. That's prayer. Hayo ndio maombi. That's acknowledging him in you. Kumtambua yeye katika maisha yako. My brother and my sister. Ndugu zangu. Isn't that simple? Je, hicho si kitu rahisi. It's not that complicated anymore. Hicho sio kitu kigumu. If you not if you just start in the relationship, ukiwa unaanza tu mahusiano with God na Mungu. And you you don't feel you've you've got to that point. Na una ukajiona kwamba hujafikia hatua hiyo. When it can get really intricate. Inakuwa ni ngumu kidogo. Then all you have to do lakini mambo ambayo anatakiwa kuyafanya. Just say thank you God. Ni kumwambia tu Mungu asante. Thank you Jesus kumwambia Yesu asante for everything kwa kila jambo for your food kumshukuru for your kwa shelter 
for the clothes on your back, for the money in your pocket, for the gifts that he's given you. Just tell him thank you. I do that all the time. And that is how I acknowledge him in my life. You cannot pray without acknowledging the power of God in your life. You cannot pray unless you know that God can do anything just for you. Conversations with God. You know, Elder Mike, that's how I started. You know, there was a time when I couldn't pray. And so I just taught myself how to give thanks. You know, there's a song that we sing back home. And it goes like this. I'll, I'll just tell you the words. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks with a grateful heart. And if you are grateful, then give thanks. And that's prayer. And so the, the Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians that when we must be happy all the time. Now, he says, rejoice always. That is not always possible. Because life is tough. Not everything goes right. There are many things that go wrong in the day. And you will get upset. You will get angry. You will not you will dislike somebody. And that's life for you. You see, we need to expect these things in life. And prepare ourselves for it. And how do we do that? It's by staying connected with God. Even when somebody is not nice to you, those that are connected to God will, will react in a godly way. And when somebody is not nice to you, and you can just tell him, God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. And just move on. Connecting with God is a wonderful walk in a, in, for a Christian. And he goes on to say, pray without ceasing. And so here he's telling you, your prayer could be your continuous walk with God. I'm not asking you to be religious. Jesus warns us about that. Yes, That you know those that go around trying to act very, very Pious. To show everybody just how great they are in prayer. Jesus warns us. Jesus warns us about that. And he says, be humble. Be simple. Be loving. Be kind. And here's something that's important. Understand what the other person is going through. The word we use is empathetic. Understand what the other person is going through. And be a blessing to that person. In spite of the fact that they have not been nice to you. And here's what's the important thing. That they will see Jesus in you. That is prayer. When they see Jesus in you. There are times when you need to pray. For something you need. 
kwa kitu ambacho unakihitaji. Whether you want God to intervene in your relationship. Unapotaka Mungu aingilie kwenye mahusiano yako. Whether it is sickness that's in your body au ni ugonjwa ambao kwenye mwili wako whether it is god you want to get success in a job au unataka kupata mafanikio kazini or in business au mafanikio kwenye biashara god is able mungu anaweza to bless you kukubariki in any area you ask kwa him. kila eneo la maisha but develop the relationship lakini kwanza jenga uhusiano na mungu god will do something for you mungu atafanya kitu katika maisha yako because he has a purpose kwa sababu analo kusudi na wewe so prayer is important kwa maombi ni muhimu we are told to pray for the sick tunaambiwa tuombe kwa ajili ya wagonjwa i have prayed for many people elder nimeombea na watu wengi wanaambao hawajui who are sick ambao walikuwa na umwa and i'm not a doctor na mimi sio daktari i'm only a pastor mimi ni mchungaji tu but there is a god in heaven lakini kuna mungu mbinguni the creator of heaven and earth mungu ambaye ameumba mbingu na nchi the creator of 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 us he created us aliyetuumba sisi pamoja na mili yetu he knows every part of my body anajua kila sehemu ya mwili wako and is given me the authority as a pastor na mimi amenipa mamlaka kama mchungaji is given bishop manessa the authority as his bishop amen Pascof Manasse and Mamlaka, all the other men of God na kama watu wengine wa Mungu alivyo given them the authority amewapa mamlaka to lay hands over the sick mikono juu ya wagonjwa to pray over them kuomba juu yao to bless them kuwabariki and God would heal them na Mungu atawaponya i have prayed for many people nimeombea watu wengi that was sick in bed ambao walikuwa wamelala vitandani and God has delivered them out of that bed na Mungu amewatoa kwenye vitanda vile they didn't get injection hawakupata sindano they didn't get tablets hawakupata dawa they didn't get medicine to drink hawakupata vidogo because i'm not a doctor kwa sababu mimi sio mganga to dispense those things kwa hiyo ili kuwapa hivyo vitu but i can dispense prayer lakini naweza nikawapa maombi now there is a need na pakiwa na hitaji don't get me wrong usi dielef baya god has given doctors mungu amewapa madaktari and physicians na waganga the wisdom hekima to heal through medicine kuponya kupitia hospitali na madawa na that's a god given gift hiyo ni karama ya mungu ambayo amempa mwanadamu god given wisdom hiyo ni hekima ya mungu ambayo amempa binadamu so there is another way of, of being healed hiyo ni namna nyingine ya kupona and then there's the way of prayer lakini kuna namna ya kupona kwa maombi seen and known many people na nimeona na kuwajua watu wengi who have been healed because of their faith ambao wamepona kwa sababu ya imani zao because of their faith in kwa sababu ya imani zao kwa Mungu i am one of them mimi ni mmoja wao i was diagnosed with a chronic illness na nili kutwa wakati fulani na ugonjwa mbaya sana kwenye mwili wangu but i had my moment with god lakini nikawa na muda na mungu i wrestled with god nikapambana katika maombi in prayer katika maombi and he answered my prayer na alijibu maombi yangu and i've been made whole na in jesus name na aliniponya katika jina la yesu so i know what i'm talking about ninajua ninachokiongea the power of prayer nguvu ya maombi praying is free kuomba ni bure You don't have to pay God to pray. Uhitaji kumlipa Mungu ili uone. You don't have to buy a ticket to talk to God. Ununui tiketi yote ili uongee na Mungu. You can talk to him anytime you want to. Unaweza kuongea na Mungu wakati wote unapotaka. He is not expecting something from you. Na yeye hatarajii kitu kutoka kwako. Except that you you recognize who he is. Kitu anachojaja kutoka kwako ni kumtambua kwamba yeye yuko. Except that you acknowledge him utambue uwepo wake he's there to bless you kama yuko pale kukubariki so prayer kwa hiyo maombi is an amazing way of connecting with heaven ni namna ya pekee ya kujiunganisha na mbingu the bible also tells us to be content in everything biblia inasema kwamba tunapambana katika that mambo mengi means mbingu. when things go wrong i must be content with it kwamba eh, mambo yakienda vibaya lazima tupambane such is life na hao ndio maisha. The yes Paul, lakini hapa ni Paul. Wrote all of these scriptures that we read just now. Ambaye ameandika haya maandiko ambayo tumeandika. Paul had a problem. Paul alikuwa na shida fulani. If it we read, kama ukisoma, the Paul calls his problem the thorn in the flesh. 
Paulo anasema tatizo lake ni mwiba katika mwili wake. We don't know exactly what it is. Hatujui kwa uhakika ni kitu gani. We don't know whether he had a chronic problem. Hatujui kama alikuwa na shida namna gani. Or whether he had any other health issues. Ama alikuwa na shida katika afya yake. But he writes and he says this. Lakini anaandika na kusema that many times I've asked God to bless to heal me. Mara nyingi alimwomba Mungu amtoe kwenye hilo tatizo. But God didn't. Lakini Mungu hakufanya hivyo. No, we got to ask that question then. Lakini hebu tujulize swali. How come Paul's prayer was not answered? Kwa nini maombi ya Paulo hayakujibiwa? I've learned sometimes nimejifunza mara nyingi that some of the stuff that I don't like baadhi ya mambo ambayo siyapendi is good for me. Ni mazuri kwangu. You may not like that. Na unaweza usipende hilo. But it's good for you. Lakini nzuri kwako. Na you may be saying plastic seriously. My. You may be saying seriously you mean that some bad things are good for me. Ah, unaweza kumuuliza mchungaji kweli uko serious kwamba baadhi ya vitu vibaya katika maisha yangu ni vizuri kwangu? Well in Paul's case, katika swala la Paul, Paul says it is that affliction ni huo hilo tatizo au huo mwiba the keeps me connected to God. Unaomfanya awe na muunganiko na Mungu. You got to understand unatakiwa uelewe that God is alpha and omega. Kwamba Mungu ni mwanzo na mwisho. The and the end. Mwanzo na mwisho. And he knows everything. Na anajua kila kitu. So when he does not do something in your life Ukiona hafanyi kitu kwenye maisha yako. That you expect him to do. Unachotarajia yakifanye. Is because he has a purpose. Ni kwa sababu analokusudi. Because in Paul's case, katika hali ya Paulo, he kept Paul straight. Alimweka Paulo akiendelea kumtumikia. He kept he kept Paul on the right path. Alimweka Paulo katika njia sahihi. Because Paul says this amazing words. Na Paulo amesema maneno haya ajabu. In spite of my illness, in spite of my thorn in the flesh. Alisema kwamba pamoja na mwiba katika mwili wangu. Nevertheless, hata hivyo, I shall follow my God. Nitamfuata Mungu wangu. You see, prayer, maombi, though it brings healing, Japokuwa inaleta uponyaji, God doesn't always answer every prayer. Lakini sio kila ombi Mungu analipa. Sometimes he'll say yes. Wakati mwingine anasema ndiyo. And there are times he'll say no. Na wakati mwingine anasema hapana. Because he knows best. Kwa sababu anajua kitu kizuri kwa ajili yake. Back home in my church. Kule nyumbani kwenye kanisa lake. I tell my, my 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 family, my church family. Anawaambia washirika wa, wa, wa kanisani kwake. Never forget these words. Usahau maneno haya. God knows best kwamba Mungu anajua kilichochema kwako in every situation katika hali yoyote ile God knows best Mungu anajua kilicho bora kwako even when i'm conducting a funeral hata ninapokuwa naendesha ibada za mazishi and a father passed away baba amefariki and the family is asking why na familia inajiuliza kwa nini baba yetu amefariki because he's still young kwa sababu bado ni kijana and then i look at them na mimi nawaangalia and the only answer i can give them najibu peke yangu bwana nikawapa is that god knows best kwamba mungu anajua kilichochema i don't know his purpose right now sifahamu kusudi lake kwa sasa but i will see it down the line lakini naliona mbele katika maisha yenu conversations with god mazungumzo na mungu helps you to understand how god works in your life anataka uelewe jinsi mungu anafanya kazi kwenye maisha yako you see After I'm, I'm building my relationship with God daily. Anajenga mahusiano yake na Mungu kila siku. Once I cannot understand God, na kama siwezi kumuelewa Mungu, but I understand how God works in my life. Lakini nafahamu jinsi ambavyo Mungu anafanya kazi kwenye maisha yangu. I understand there are times when God will tell me no. Naelewa kuna wakati Mungu anaweza kuniambia hapana. And there are times I see him come through for me. Na kuna wakati Mungu anakuja na kunisaidia. It is because of my relationship with him. Ni kwa sababu ya uhusiano wangu na yeye. See I don't know about you. Mimi sifahamu wewe inakuwaje. But I I encourage you. Lakini nataka nikutie moyo to develop that relationship. Kujenga uhusiano wako na Mungu. Like in my last episode that I that I spoke on. Kama nilivyosema katika somo langu nilopita. I told you have a daily relationship with God. Unatakiwa uwe na uhusiano na Mungu kila siku a conversation that goes from minute to minute and not day to day mazungumzo ambayo yanakwenda dakika kwa dakika na sio lazima kila siku an acknowledgement of his power and his grace kutambua nguvu zake na neema yake kwako 
of his love and of his ability to forgive. Kutambua upendo wake na uwezo wake wa kukusamehe. I love Jesus Christ. Mimi nampenda Yesu Kristo. I have learned that there is no one else. Nimejifunza kwamba hakuna mtu yoyote that loves me more. Ambaye ananipenda mimi zaidi. There is no one else. Hakuna ananipenda mtu yoyote that that is that that he wants to be close to ambaye anapenda kuwa karibu zaidi na mimi then me in in the in in with christ isipokuwa ni yesu kristo i love jesus christ nampenda yesu kristo and i pray that you na mimi naomba ya kwamba wewe would also have that relationship with god uwe na mahusiano hayo na bwana yesu and they'll be able to turn to him ili uwe na fursa ya kumgeukia the source of all that you would ever need ili awe chanzo cha mambo yote unayohitaji turn to him mgeukie bwana yesu the one who's able to give you the desires of your life yeye ambaye ana uwezo wa kukupa haja za moyo wako turn to him mgeukie bwana yesu the one who is greater than anyone on the earth yeye ambaye ni mkuu kuliko yoyote yule hapa duniani turn to him mgeukie yeye bwana yesu whom the bible says ambaye biblia inasema is greater than the one that is here on the earth ambaye anasema yeye ni mkuu aliyeko ndani yako kuliko yule aliyeko katika duniani i love that scripture napenda huo mstari that says greater is he who unaosema aliye ndani yenu ni mkuu that is in me Aliana yenu ni mkuu the need that is in the world. Kuliko yeye aliye katika ulimwengu. When you carry the power and the essence of Jesus Christ. Unapobeba nguvu na uwezo wa Yesu Kristo. When you carry the power of God in you. Unapobeba nguvu za Mungu ndani yako. You can do anything. Unaweza kufanya chochote kile. When I started my business. Nilipoanza biashara yangu. It was very tough ilikuwa ni ngumu sana and so i i left everything every day to the, in, into the hands of jesus christ kwa hiyo niliacha mikononi mwa yesu kristo kila siku ile biashara and i felt after i developed my relationship with god nami nilisikia nilivyojenga uhusiano na yesu kristo i felt that 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 i could walk on water naweza nikatembea juu ya maji i know it's physically not possible na jua uh, kibinadamu haiwezekani because of my connection with god lakini kwa sababu ya muunganiko wangu na mungu i believe that i could do anything niliamini kwamba naweza kufanya chochote i could achieve anything ninaweza nikapata mafanikio yoyote yale and and that is how i feel even up to today na hiyo ndio hisia yangu mpaka leo because god is big in my life kwa sababu mungu ni mkubwa kwenye maisha yangu and because he's big na kwa sababu ni mkubwa my prayerful life maisha yangu ya maombi grows yanakuwa i can understand what paul says here naanza nikamuelewa paul anachosema hapa i i am a happy man mimi ni mtu mwenye furaha sana even when things don't go right hata kama mambo hayaendi vile ninavyotaka i'm still very happy bado nina furaha It's only because of our relationship with Ni God. Ni kwa sababu tu na mahusiano yangu na Mungu. You too. Wewe pia can be happy. Unaweza kuwa na furaha. In spite of what happens to you. Hata kama mambo yanakwenda vipi kwenye maisha yako. If you turn to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Kama ukimgeukia Bwana awe mwokozi wa maisha yako. Give him your heart today. Mpe moyo wako leo. Tell to speak right now hebu ongea sasa hivi and say these words wherever you are nasema maneno haya come into my heart lord jesus jo moyo ni mwangu bwana yesu take over all of me chukua kila kitu katika maisha yangu i give my life to you ninayatoa maisha yangu kwako and i can tell you that jesus na nitakwambia kwamba yesu will reach down from the throne room of grace atakuja kwa neema yake and will touch you wherever you are na atakugusa pale ulipo and if you are sick right kama now una ugua saidi we're going to pray over you tunaweza tukaomba kwa ajili ya ugonjwa if you are unemployed right now kama huna kazi we're going to pray over you tunaweza kukaomba kwa ajili yako sasa if you have a business that's not doing well right now kama una biashara ambayo haifanyi vizuri i want you to raise that hand wherever you are nataka unyoshe mkono wako we are going to pray for you tutaomba kwa ajili ya biashara hiyo you are going to feel the power of god na utahisi nguvu za mungu if your marriage is in trouble kama ndoa yako iko kwenye shida i know that god can bring that marriage Na Mungu anaweza kuingilia kati. If your heart is broken. Kama moyo wako umevunjika sana. I know that Jesus will mend your heart Mungu right now. Mungu anaweza akaoponya moyo wako. I want to pray for you. Nataka nikuombe. Wherever you are right now. Popote pale ulipo. Stretch your hands Nyo out toward us. Mungu wako kwenye screen. And we're going to bless you. Na tutakubariki. We're going to pray for you. Tutaomba pale. We're going to ask God to intervene in your life. Tutaomba Mungu aingilie kati maisha yako. And I want you to do something for me. Nataka ufanye kitu. After we pray for you. Hebu rudia maombi haya. I want you to just say God thank you. 
you wherever you are. Nataka I want you to just to thank him in advance. Mungu A miracle is coming your way. Mujiza unakuja kwa So heavenly Father, Baba wa mbinguni, I pray over every listener na right now. Naomba kwa ajili ya kila msikilizaji. Every viewer of this program kila right now. Kila mtazamaji. Father, I bless them. Baba I reach out Father through these distances. Ninakutana nao. I touch them in the spirit Nina right now Father. That you would bless them. You would meet them at the at the point of need. Relationships will be healed. Bodies will be healed. Businesses will be healed. Relationships will be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to receive that right now. That the power of God is with you right now. Right there where you are. Guvu ya Mungu iko pamoja nawe hapo ulipo. The word of God in your life. Pokea neno la Mungu kwa maisha yako. Now my dear brother and sister. Ndugu zangu. I have no doubt in my mind. Sina wasiwasi. That a miracle is coming your way. Kwamba muujiza unakuja kwa maisha yako. I want you to do something. Nataka ufanye kitu. After you give thanks to God. Baada ya kumshukuru Mungu. Contact the station. Embo wasiliana na Hebron contact TV. Contact us at Hebron TV. Wasiliana na Hebron TV. Contact Bishop Manessa. Embo wasiliana na Askofu Manasse. Write a letter. Andika barua or a text message. Au message and tell us. Na utuambie what God is doing for you. Kila ambacho Mungu amekifanya leo. It doesn't matter where you are in Tanzania. Haijalishi uko wapi hapa nchini. Just send us a word. Tutumie ujumbe. Become an encouragement to this ministry. Embo uwe utupe mrejesho katika huduma hii as the, as this ministry to become an encouragement kama to jinsi ambavyo huduma hii inakuletea ujumbe kama huu now my brother and my sister hasa ndugu zangu don't forget usahau have a relationship with god uwe na uhusiano na mungu have faith uwe na imani god will come through for you mungu atakujia so until the next time i speak to you mpaka wakati mwingine God bless you. Mungu akubariki. God bless your family. Mungu abariki familia yako. God bless your household of faith. Mungu abariki nyumba yako. And God bless Tanzania. Na Mungu ibariki Tanzania. Amen. Amen.